This is Healing Your Soul with Katie Souza. Real keys to the miraculous. What's weighing you down, holding you back? What has wounded your soul? Today with Katie, discover the healing power of God for your life. Katie was once broken, oppressed, in bondage to a life of mental and physical pain until God gave her a new life and powerful messages of how you can heal your wounded soul. Now, here is Katie to begin today's program. Hi, this is Katie Souza. Welcome to Healing Your Soul, Real Keys to the Miraculous. This week, we're continuing our series on demonic kings. If you haven't tuned in until now, you may be thinking, what is that? Well, that's funny, because that's the same reaction I had when God first said those words to me. At the time, I was searching for an answer to what was wrong with my mom because she had been sick with a debilitating disease for 25 years. That's when the Holy Spirit said that the disease on her body was caused by a demonic king. Now, I'd read the Bible dozens and dozens of times when I was in prison, but I'd never heard of anything like that before. Yet when the Holy Spirit began to unpack the revelation, it was so powerful, it changed my life. Now, this teaching is bringing healing and breakthrough to countless people around the world. When you hear it, it's gonna change your life too. At the end of this message, we're gonna do a super soak so you can dig deep and get some real healing. If you haven't done a super soak with us yet, stay tuned because you're not gonna wanna miss it. But first, let's start today's program with a review. And the Bible says that there are certain things that can actually quote, wound, wound our soul man. And that is sin and trauma. These wounds allow spirits, demonic spirits, to afflict us, to torment us, to affect us. I'm gonna talk about the ranks that are in the kingdom of darkness and how these spirits of infirmity are actually smaller spirits that have larger, more powerful entities over them. Jesus referred to them as strong men. How do you bind a strong man? So that you can then thoroughly ransack every spirit in his house. Guess what the answer is? <laughs> you get your soul healed. Look up the word strong man in the concordance. And you'll see what it means in the Greek. Let me read it to you now. It says this, one who has strength of soul to sustain the attacks of Satan. Do you understand? That's the key to getting the, the ability to bind the strong man. It's our wounded souls that are giving strong men and all the spirits in their house the right to attack us. Does the Bible say who these strong men are? It says this, for we wrestle not with flesh and blood, contending only against physical opponents, but against, now here's the ranks and the order, but against despotisms, powers, and master spirits who are the world rulers of this darkness. And at the top are the strong men that Jesus talked about. This scripture calls them despots, despots. When you look at the word despot in the dictionary, it means tyrant king tyrant king. See, these despots are the strong men that Jesus talked about throughout the entire Bible. And the Bible is always our gauge, isn't it? It's always our standard, isn't it? Throughout the entire Bible, who is Israel always fighting? Evil kings, aren't they? Now, let me ask you a question. What kind of kings were they? They were kings that were pagan kings, right? They were pagan kings, which means what? They worshiped idols. Every one of those kings that Israel fought in the natural actually worshiped idols. They were idol worshipers. What is an idol? Do you think it's just a statue? Those statues represented what? Evil spirits. They're actually worshiping evil spirits. So who do you think those kings got their power from to or in order to battle Israel? Evil spirits, didn't they? Now, when those pagan kings that fought Israel died, do you think the spirits that backed them up and gave them their power died with them? No, they didn't. They're still alive and well. And do you think they're still on the same assignment to attack you? We are wrestling against kings and their kingdoms. Why do you think Jesus was called the King of Kings?
Do you understand that, right? Because we're fighting against despots. We're fighting against kings. And that's why God decreed that Christ was king over all kings. We're not wrestling with flesh and blood, but with despots. So it wasn't talking about kings in the natural. Jesus was made king of kings, big K over little K, because we are fighting with little K, but big K is going to whoop some behind. All right? These kings are the strong man that Jesus was referring to in Matthew 12. It's amazing. Amen? It's amazing what we can find out now that we have the information. Hallelujah. Okay, now, do you remember the most number one powerful way to bind the strong man? Is to get your soul healed, right? Remember the word strong man means to have strength of soul to sustain the attacks of Satan. So when you get healed in your soul, when you get strong in your soul, when you get healed of all those wounds, then you'll be able to bind the strong man. Amen? Now, is that, does that match this scripture? Does that match that if, if we get strong in our soul, we'll be able to not only bind the strong man, but we'll be able to bind these demonic kings, these despots, because they are the strong man? Let's look at it. Go back to Ephesians 6, 12, because it backs up that statement that when you get your soul healed, you'll be able to bind the strong man. Who are these kings? It says this, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against despots, powers, and master spirits. Now listen to this part who are the world rulers of this present darkness. So it's saying these despots, who are tyrant kings, and the powers and master spirits underneath them, rule over the world darkness. What does that mean? Does that mean, you know, the darkness that surrounds us and how evil, the evil that's in the world and the sin that's in the world? Well, yes, it does mean that, but it also means something else. Look up that word darkness in the Greek in the, le in the Thayer's lexicon, and guess what it means, that word darkness. It means this, the soul that's lost its perceptive powers. They're the world rulers over darkness. And the word darkness means the soul that's lost its perceptive powers. What would make your soul lose its ability to perceive things correctly? Wounds. Wounds in your soul that come from sin and trauma. Wounds cause you to not be able to perceive things right. You don't think right. You don't make the right decisions. Your emotions aren't feeling right. You feel bad emotions instead of good God-given emotions. When you've got wounds in your soul, you've got darkness in your soul. And that darkness calls your, causes your soul to lose its perceptive power. Wounds in the soul are the darkness that Bible Scripture is talking about. And according to that... It says that those despots, powers, and master spirits are the world rulers over this present darkness. They get their right to rule over you because of what's in here. Do you understand what I'm saying? See, how do you bind the strong man? You get strength of soul. Strength of soul. See, that's how you bind these kings. You get the darkness out of you. You get healed of the woundedness inside of you. And then when you wrestle, not with flesh and blood, but against despots, powers, and master spirits, you're going to win the battle. You're going to win the battle. Amen? Jesus. Okay, we're going to stop right here, and we're going to activate into it. We're going to talk. We're going to get our souls healed. This is just our, our first level. Amen? Do you remember how to get your soul healed? There's two main things that Jesus used to whoop on the enemy. And that was the cross and the resurrection. I think we forget that part. So we're going to look at it. First, the cross. When you're getting your soul healed, you always need to apply the blood. Because there's sin that wounds the soul. Okay, you might have sinned, somebody might have sinned against you, your ancestors might have sinned, and that sin is what makes the wound. 
So the first step is always to apply the blood, to repent, to forgive, to lean into the cross. Because the cross defeats the enemy. Remember what it says in Colossians 2. It says that God disarmed the principalities and powers, meaning the kings and their kingdoms, that were raging against us and made a bold display and a public example of them, triumphing over them in him at the cross. So the cross made a public spectacle of every strongman, of every king, and every uh, power and master spirit underneath them in their kingdom. Amen? So we have to apply the blood. We have to repent. We have to forgive. we got to be washed in the blood so the sin that made the wound in our soul can go. But here's the problem. We do that. I think almost everybody in here has applied the blood, but we stop there. We apply the blood, we repent, we forgive. How many of you repent and forgive? Repent and forgive, okay, right? Mm -hmm. You should all have your hand raised because it's true, okay? But we stop there because we don't understand that sin has made a wound in our soul. And the blood is for the washing away of that sin, But there's a power called dunamis that came from the resurrection of Christ that heals the wound itself. And we have to have both, but the church has not been partaking of both. What am I talking about? Paul talks about this power called dunamis that comes from the resurrection of Christ. He talks about it in Philippians 3. He said, I want to know him in the power, that's the Greek word dunamis, of his resurrection. So there's a power called dunamis that comes to us from the resurrection of Christ. Now, why does Paul want to know about this power so bad? Well, if you look it up in the Strong's, in the Concordance, you'll see a couple of the meanings of the word dunamis are, one, the power to perform a miracle. How many of you need a miracle? That's the power that will do it. And two, it also means excellence of soul. Excellence of soul. Do you understand this power that comes from the resurrection of Jesus Christ has the ability to do miracles in our lives, in our physical bodies, our families, our ministries, our businesses, whatever, but it also has the ability to make us excellent of soul. It heals the wounds in our soul that are allowing These kings are the world rulers over this present darkness. (laughs) See, they're ruling over the darkness in your soul. You have to get your soul healed to defeat them. And it's dunamis that comes to the resurrection that heals the wound. It makes you excellent of soul. It's what's going to help you and cause you to bind the strong man. You're going to become strong in soul because of dunamis. Look, everybody goes, you know, Jesus made a public spectacle of the enemy at the cross. Yes, he did. (laughs) But we also have to understand that through the resurrection, he kicked some major behind too. He finished up the job in the resurrection. What does Acts 10 say? That God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Spirit and power, which is dunamis. Comes from the resurrection. And it says, and he went around doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Did you hear what I said? I want to run into the audience and see that. Did you hear what I said? It was dunamis that heals people who are oppressed of the devil. Did you hear what I said? It's dunamis. He was anointed with dunamis and he healed all that were oppressed of the devil. Dunamis from the resurrection wipes out the wound, and then the devil cannot cannot attack you anymore, babe. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Today, with your support, you are giving hope and healing to a life that may be in a desperate need of life change. For years, I lived a life of drugs and violence, and I eventually ended up in prison. When I was out on the streets, I did major damage to everyone around me, and I was just one person. Now, think about this. Every year, hundreds of thousands of inmates are released. We need to get them healed while they're still inside so they don't do major damage to themselves and the world around them when they get out. For several years, we've been going into prisons and seeing that happen, and now 
you can help. Call now. And when you do, Katie would like to thank you for your gift by sending you a copy of The Healing School 6-Disc Set. With a gift of $28 or more, you will have a part in putting Healing School resources into the hands of a life that is ready for a chance to change. Again, call toll-free. And as a thank you for your gift, Katie will send you a copy of The Healing School. The Healing School CD Set will open up your understanding to the deeper things in the Bible that you may have never heard before. So if you're stuck and you've tried everything and nothing has worked, this CD set will reveal God's healing power and bring results that really work. This set could be the key to your breakthrough. Call now, 1-800-789-7895. Help Katie reach out to thousands of prisoners with a powerful message of God's ultimate healing power. We've only been applying the blood, but we need everything Jesus did, huh? You see, without the resurrection, Jesus is a dead man in a tomb. And the promises and the payment that he paid at the cross are dead there with him. Do you understand? We have to have both the cross and the resurrection. Other, it's incomplete. The church has only been leaning into the cross. We have to lean into both. Look, when you got baptized into Christ, you went down in death with him at the cross, but you came up to new life with him at the resurrection. You didn't just go down in that water and lay there and go gurgle, 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 and drown. You went down and then you came back up. And the coming up part is you partaking of the resurrection power. You went down at the cross, but up to new life at the resurrection, you already have what you need to be healed in your soul of everything that would allow a strong man to afflict you. Do you get it? All right, so we're going to practice right now. Amen? Right now, we're going to do what we like to call a super soak. You might be thinking, what is that? Well, let me explain. The word soak means to remove a stain by continued immersion. In our souls are the stains of sin and the wounds that come from them. If you had a stain on your clothes, you wouldn't just put a little soap on it and briefly run it under the water. You would thoroughly soak it to get the stain out completely. If you don't thoroughly soak a stain, it sets in. Then you end up walking around with that stain on the front of your shirt for everyone to see. It's the same with our soul. If we don't thoroughly soak and immerse ourselves in the presence of Jesus, then the wounds in our soul will still be there, totally staining every area of our life. Now, I realize that what we're about to do may be different than what you're used to, but I'm sharing this with you because it's what I did to get countless miracles in my life. This is a real key to healing your soul. It's spending extended times in the presence of Jesus, soaking your inner man. I'm encouraging you to really focus and get involved in this super soak. So let's go back to the conference now, because we're going to press in and get your breakthrough. Put your hand on your belly or on your heart. And we're going to pray together, okay? Just say, Lord Jesus, I ask that you would make a public spectacle of the strong man that's on me now by releasing the power of the cross. I receive your blood that was shed for me. I repent of any sin that I committed or my ancestors committed that may have wounded my soul and allowed a strong man or the powers in his house to attack me. Wash me clean with your blood. And I forgive anyone that sinned against me and wounded my soul. And that sin and that wound allowed a strong man to attack me. But I decree that I'm being washed of that sin right now by the blood. You're making a public spectacle of the enemy right now. Right now. Right now. Because of the blood. Right now. Right now. Right now. Because of the blood. 
Now I want you to just sit there and I want you to meditate on the blood right now. Meditate on the cross. Just ask Jesus to wash you. Wash you of every sin. Tell him to go very far back. All the way back to Adam. We decree it. All the way back, Lord, with your blood. Wash away every sin that wounded us. Right now in Jesus' name. Every sin that's connected with a strong man washed away in the name of Jesus. I hear somebody's here been a chronic complainer. You've been chronically complaining. And the Lord says that sin has been wounding your soul and it's been allowing a strong man to attack you and cause you physical pain and emotional pain. The Lord says right now you need to repent for the constant complaining because your own mouth has allowed this strong man to have access to you. Focus on the blood and the cross. I hear a harvest is coming, peeps. Keep going. I hear a harvest is coming. Focus on the blood. Jesus is making a public spectacle of those despots and the powers and the master spirits. He's making a public spectacle of the strong men with his blood. Okay, now everybody say amen. Now, do we stop there? Why not? Got to get the wound, don't we? Unimus has got to get that wound. Amen? Remember, Jesus not only made a public spectacle of the enemy at the cross, but he uses dunamis to wipe out Satan and his oppression on your life. Jesus Christ was anointed with dunamis and he went around healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. So dunamis comes against the devil oppressing you. Amen? So keep on, put your hand on your heart or your stomach. Say, now, Lord, I decree that I am getting healed in my soul. Dunamis power is flowing in to me right now. It's filling me. It's healing every wound that I have in common with a strong man. I'm going to be able to bind the strong man. I'm going to become strong in my soul. That's the meaning of strong man. I'm getting healed of every wound in my soul because of dunamis. I'm excellent of soul. I'm excellent of soul. I am excellent of soul. I am excellent of soul. I am excellent of soul. The despots that are the world rulers over this present darkness will not rule over me. I don't have darkness. My soul is healed. My soul hasn't lost its perceptive powers because it's being healed. Darkness no more. Darkness no more. Darkness no more. Dunamis. I'm excellent of soul. I'm excellent of soul. Okay, now just keep on meditating on it. Just start, keep on decreeing that every wound that you have in common with a strong man is being healed. That every wound that a despot king is ruling over is being healed. Right now by dunamis. You're going to be wounded no more. Wounded no more. I'm focusing. You're being filled with dunamis. Remember, you already have it. You went down in death with Christ at the cross, and you came up to new life with him in the resurrection. You already have dunamis power in you. Now you're just releasing it. You're believing it. You're decreeing it. You're stepping into it. Yes, you're excellent of soul. You are excellent of soul. You are excellent of soul. Holy Spirit, come minister to their souls 
cause every bit of darkness in their souls to be healed. So no despot can rule over their darkness. Bring dunamis, Holy Spirit, right now so they can become strong in soul. That was an awesome time of healing. Sometimes you gotta pray for more than just a minute to really get the breakthrough that you're looking for. I believe many of you have already been healed of some of the wounds you had in common with these kings. So now I'm gonna bind the strong men for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree you have been filled with dunamis, so you are excellent in your soul. You are strong in soul, so you have the power to resist the attacks of Satan and his strong men. I command every single demonic king to come off of you right now in Jesus' name. I speak to every one of these strong men and I say you have no more legal right. You must go. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus and I command you to leave right now in Jesus' name. You go in Jesus' name. Go now in the name of Jesus. And I completely and thoroughly ransack your house. I cast out every spirit of poverty, lack, disease, disorder, infirmity, and every spirit that is on you and is causing mental or emotional distress, be gone now in Jesus' name. Your strong man is bound, so you have to leave. So go now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, with your support, you are giving hope and healing to a life that may be in a desperate need of life change. For years, I lived a life of drugs and violence, and I eventually ended up in prison. When I was out on the streets, I did major damage to everyone around me, and I was just one person. Now, think about this. Every year, hundreds of thousands of inmates are released. We need to get them healed while they're still inside so they don't do major damage to themselves and the world around them when they get out. For several years, we've been going into prisons and seeing that happen, and now, you can help. Call now, and when you do, Katie would like to thank you for your gift by sending you a copy of The Healing School Six Disc Set. With a gift of $28 or more, you will have a part in putting Healing School resources into the hands of a life that is ready for a chance to change. Again, call toll free. And as a thank you for your gift, Katie will send you a copy of The Healing School. The Healing School CD Set will open up your understanding to the deeper things in the Bible that you may have never heard before. So if you're stuck and you've tried everything and nothing has worked, this CD set will reveal God's healing power and bring results that really work. This set could be the key to your breakthrough. Call now, 1-800-789-7895. Help Katie reach out to thousands of prisoners with a powerful message of God's ultimate healing power. Next week, we continue this series on Demonic Kings. This is going to be a long series, which is completely cool because we're going to systematically go after all kinds of different kings so that we can get healed of everything we have in common with each one of them. Don't miss one single episode of this series. See you next week.